The 2024 Classic three-year-old season moves on in earnest this weekend with the running of the first two major preparation races, the Hotline Stakes and the Sir Howard Stakes, both for horses at the non-winners of two level at six furlongs. The Hotline is contested by Feelys and the Sir Howard by Colts and Geldings. The Quick Galloper gives a status report on the starters in the 2023 edition of the Hotline to see how they have managed in their careers one year after. The 2023 Hotline Stakes was contested on Saturday, March 11th, with 10 starters entering the starting stalls. This review of the 10 starters by the Quick Galloper is done in finishing order. First Duracell set off in front from the off and then dug deep into her reserves under strong handling by Bebeto Harve to consistently thwart the challenge of the second place finisher. Since this notable performance, Duracell has failed to ignite any sparks to have what can be considered a checkered career. Duracell was trained to victory in the hotline by Patrick Fong. Let us relive the moment when Duracell won the 2023 Hotline Stakes. Fair start. Acknowledge me shows speed along with Duracell rushing up to join. And Duracell in the orange cap now shoots through to get it from Acknowledge Me. Speedy here racing alongside Royal Ash. Bazinga races in the center of horses, volatility out wide. All for love races ahead of Bosi, then Bella Bella, and she's my hedge fund in the green at the back. They slip past the half mile and run away now toward the 7-16th. Can they catch Duracell out in front? Speedy here now going in chase, dropping down into second. Royal Ash is steady there in third. Volatility moving up on the outside. Right on the rail, that's Acknowledge Me. These are followed up by Bazinga, then All for Love. A Bosi races up next toward the back of the field. That's a Bella Bella, and she's my hedge fund as they turn for home in the hotline stakes. A quarter of a mile to catch Duracell. Can they catch the filly? She's out in front. Here now is the grey Royal Ash arriving on the scene. It's Duracell now being pressed a bit by Royal Ash, continuing to creep closer all the while. Speedy here is near the rail with Acknowledge Me and Volatility, but Duracell continues to dig in inside the final 16th. Here is Royal Ash now with a late charge. It's a Duracell hanging tough in the end. It's the hotline stakes. Duracell, a brave ride and a brave run. Wins it from Royal Ash. Then all for love volatility. Acknowledge me is big. Second Royal Ash. This grey filly ran on gallantly with Tevin Foster in the saddle, failing by three parts of a length to catch the winner, Duracell. In total, Royal Ash has raced 16 times with her last run on Saturday, March 16th, 2024, when finishing fourth. From those 16 starts, Royal Ash has been victorious on two occasions and can be rightfully categorized as a consistent campaigner at the four-year-old non-winners of three level. Third, all for love of the lot of 10 that contested the 2023 hotline stakes, the Gary Sabra Tay trained all for love is one of two who has been able to reach the overnight allowance grade. She achieved that ranking after 24 starts on Saturday, March 16th, 2024, following a resounding effort at six furlongs with her regular rider, Dane Dawkins, holding the reins. All for love has toiled through the classes and is seemingly at the top of her career at this time. She will win in overnight especially with her versatility at various distances. They're off and racing. She's my hedge fund, misses it, and is left at the back of the field. Legit Boss blasting to an early lead as they head toward the five furlong point. It's Legit Boss in front of She's, my, she's, a, she's a Mirage. Right there in third, that's All for Love, racing in fourth. About five lengths off the, the lead, that is at Fred the Great. Then behind Fred the Great, life is life. Then comes a brown skin girl and hopelessly out of it at moment that she's my hedge fund. They've gone past the four and head toward the three. And it, it, it is a legit boss on a three quarters of a length lead from she's a mirage racing in second as they pass the three. Hustle up and coming nicely. That is... A, Fred the Great, We're also coming on the rail. That is all for love. About five lengths before we come to... Life is life, brown skin girl, and hopelessly out of it, that is uh, 
She's my hedge fund there at the top of the lane. And it is Fred the Great right on the rail. That's legit boss in between runners and coming on nicely. That is la the all for love. And now all for love points from Fred the Great fighting back on the outside. It's all for love in front. Fred the Great trying to get to all for love, but all for love driven out. It's all for love traveling nicely at the end. And all for love goes on to win by maybe three and a half length from Fred the Great in second. Then comes legit boss and uh, running on for fourth. That's brown skin girl. Fourth volatility. Volatility is the second among these to go through her conditions and is now racing in overnight allowance. Trained by Anthony Nunes throughout her career, volatility has become a specialist over the five straight course, with two of her wins in her last ten starts being achieved coming down the chute. Volatility in her last ten starts has raced eight times at five furlong straight. We'll probably have to wait a while to win an overnight. Fifth, Acknowledge Me, from 28 career starts. Acknowledge Me has won twice and finished second on seven occasions. This filly can be described as a workhorse who more often than not has earned her way for the connections. Sixth, Speedy Hair. Speedy Hair has not raced a lot since her start in the 2023 Hotline Stakes. With only 10 runs in her career, Speedy Hair has won twice, which is an underachievement. She seems to be hindered by health issues. Going forward, Speedy Hair will find it difficult. Seventh, Bosi. This filly entered the 2023 Hotline Stakes as a non-winner of two, and one year later, she is still at that level. Eighth, Bazinga. Bazinga is still trying to find a way through the various conditions. At present, Bazinga campaigns at the four-year-old non-winners of three level, meaning that since the 2023 Hotline, she has only won one race. Ninth, Bella Bella. This filly has not been around since participating in this classic preparation event. Tenth, she's my hedge fund. This filly has raced all of 27 times, with two wins to her credit thus far. She's my hedge fund seems destined for the claiming ranks. As they turn for home in the hotline stakes, a quarter of a mile to catch Duracell. Can they catch the filly? She's out in front. Here now is the grey Royal Ash arriving on the scene. It's Duracell now being pressed a bit by Royal Ash continuing to creep closer all the while. Speedy here is near the rail with Acknowledge Me and Volatility, but Duracell continues to dig in inside the final 16th. Here is Royal Ash now with a late charge. It's a Duracell hanging tough in the end. It's the hotline stakes. Duracell, a brave ride and a Brave run wins it from Royal Ash, then all for love volatility. Acknowledge me is big. Thank you for watching another video produced by the team from quickgallopjaya.com and its YouTube channel, The Quick Galloper. Please stay on the channel for other enlightening videos on those involved in local horse racing. Please like, subscribe, and press the notification bell.